this video let us see what exactly is a non-normal distribution of a data and what sort of test can be applied on a non-normal distribution of data in SPSS software. So I have already have the data file with me for SPSS input. Here to check the normality levels of this particular continuous data I will click analyze go to descriptives because it has a higher uh, sample size of around 100 to 200 I am opting for skewness and kurtosis normality uh, values if if your sample size is lesser than 100 that is supposedly 50 range uh, then it is better that we apply Shapiro Wilkinet so here we have got all the continuous data under the variable section so in options I have clicked for mean standard deviation minimum maximum kurtosis and skewness value click continue here and click ok so here you can see there are skewness and kurtosis values so in when we try to check for the ideal values of normality typically we get to a range of minus 1 to plus 1 which should have the range both in skewness and kurtosis static orders here. If not, we tend to state that the distribution here is completely non-normal in nature. So there are different institutions that come up with different ideal values for the normality level to be tested here. Uh, but in a very common sense, uh, in a very common way, we try to get to the value of minus 1 to plus 1 or to the range between uh, minus 2 to plus 2. So that is the very uh, typical ideal values of normality that we tend to uh, stay on. But there are some other different institutions which have a different level of ideal values which can also be considered. So right now we can see that both in skewness and kurtosis there aren't similar ideal values here meaning the range is not from minus 1 to plus 1 or minus 2 to plus 2. It is only available in kurtosis here. Therefore we tend to say that either it can be modified physically in the data by assigning different numbers and uh, getting to a state where it ranges between minus 1 to plus 1 or if it is the original data that we have already created and we cannot modify it then we tend to rely on a different set of test that is a non-parametric test so when we apply non-parametric test on such sort of non-normal distribution we tend to get the correct result for our data so this is typically what a non-normal distribution means and it is also an introduction of non-parametric test sessions here. So when we have such data, the simple thing that we can apply is non-parametric test. If we click analyze, we have many non-parametric tests given here, which we can apply as per our research objectives and hypothesis. So this is how a non-parametric test and a non-normal distribution is distribution is seen in SPSS software.